Hello there, welcome to this Zero training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the categories feature on Zero accounting software. The whole purpose of categories is to categorize transactions on the software, transactions on your accounts, usually sales and expenses. So as an example, your business may have two shops. It may have a shop in London, and a shop in Manchester. It's possible on Zero to add two categories, one for the shop in London, one for the shop in Manchester, and then assign the appropriate transactions to those shops. So you can see how each shop is performing individually rather than the business as a whole. So it's all about splitting, specifying, categorizing transactions, usually sales and expenses, to see how different areas of business is performing. This may make more sense as the video goes on. To access categories, we go to the top left and click on the company name and go to settings. Once you're in settings, look for the link for advanced settings for me, it's down the bottom here. And then under advanced settings, look for tracking categories. Okay, there's one category currently or one tracking category currently on my zero, it's region. So we have categories by region. We have east side, north, south, and west coast. So it's possible to add a tracking category geographically. So the east side of the business, the north, the south, and the west. To add a new category, just click add tracking category. And perhaps we can add a tracking category for shops, sticking with the same example that uh, I gave you a moment ago. So it could be that we have a shop in London. So these are the category options. So we have the tracking category, which is basically the name of the category. And then we have the category options. We have London, Manchester. And let's say we have one in New York as well. To add more than three, just click this button here and a new line will appear. If I save this, we now have two categories. We have a geographical category and a shop category. It could be that you want to add a category for different departments or different areas of a business. Instead of having region here, I can rename this and we could just put department in here And we're going to rename this to say the sales, so the sales team, the accounts team. Could be you're going to have like a manufacturing team and say a marketing team. I'm just trying to give you examples of how you can use these categories. This way you can see how each department of a business is costing you. So you can assign any transactions, usually sales and expenses, to these category options. So where do these appear? Anytime you want to enter a transaction on zero, so if I go to the bank accounts and we record some money spent from a bank account, there will be whatever categories you've added to zero showing as part of each transaction line. So we have two columns here with the department and the shop. So if I click department, here are the departments I added. If I click on shop, here are the shops I added. So if I click on London and we entered a transaction, that transaction will be recorded just like it normally is on zero, but it will also be assigned to the shop category and we can run reports to see um, the transactions posted to that shop category or department category or any of the categories. It's the same when adding any transactions. If we go back to the bank accounts, if we put in receive money, once again, there'll be columns here for the different departments. If we are going to record a sales invoice or a purchase invoice, once again, there's going to be an option to assign the transaction to those categories. Nice and easy. So how do we run reports to see what's assigned to a category to see how each department or shop is performing? 
simply go to reports and the main report you want to use is called a tracking summary if you can't find it in this list just use the find report feature up here so tracking summary simply select the date range the type of transactions you want so sales or expenses cost of sales and then the tracking category so if we want to see expenses by shop we can simply put in the dates the expenses shop click update and it will generate that report currently this report is not correct because i haven't been assigning to the uh, categories that's pretty much what it is thank you so much for watching i have loads of other free videos on my zero page um, on my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com there'll be a link to my website from my YouTube channel.